Hello everybody, this is BeastCat100 and welcome back to some more Blade... The Legend of Zelda! Phantom Hourglass! I... Oof, I need to get that off my tongue. In the last episode, we had... Well... We had continued. We had explored the Isle of the Dead. And through puzzles and puzzles, we gained our way to the ruined Cobble Kingdom. And in this episode, we are going to... Well... Explore it. <laughs> and we're going to make our way, at least start our way, to getting the Aquanine. The final rare metal we need for the Sword of... What is it called? Sword of Spirits or something like that. So... If you like what you see, leave a like down below. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe to me if you have any... I'm acting like I haven't recorded before. If you like what you see, leave a like down below. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe to me if you haven't already clicked the bell so you're notified of everything that I do when I do it. And share with your friends so they can join in on this adventure. That's it. Now. So, taking a look at the... At the place there's really nowhere to go but through the cave so let's do that and we are immediately trapped this is a true dungeon And luckily, with the sword, the spirit of power imbuing our sword, we only need to do one round. To those with power, the path to the kingdom will bring glory. Path to the kingdom, huh? So we can finally go deeper inside. I think he said we should. See the third night pre-bar, right? Yeah. How the fuck are we supposed to read that? Can't jump that gap. Can jump this gap, though. Don't know why. Shh. Like likes. Fuck off. Okay, that was an actual. T that was an actual red rupee. Do I have my shield? Okay. Nope. No luck like city. Fuck off. Again, I don't know what the point of all point of all these tombs, these fucking plaques are, if you can't read them. Okay, well, we got there pretty unscathed.
boulders? Yep. I... Yeah, I recognize the sounds. Fuck's sake, you're wasting all my arrows. Am I getting punished for exploring? Full. I know. I don't have much to say right now. I apologize. Okay. Made it to the tomb. Graymore's temple. Of ruins they got here. I wonder if the place, if the pure metal is here. Wouldn't be that easy. Let's get to the king. Let's get the king's key so we can wake up this land from its long sleep. Because these amazing ruins means there has to be, have been a kingdom here long ago. I'm starting to think the pure metal might be here. This is the Cobble Kingdom, land of the sea people that was destroyed long ago. I don't know why I sound like a pirate. I am one of the four I am one of the four knights who served under the king. I am the third knight Bremore. I defend it I defend the seal of the land. You boy with the regal necklace. Something from where King Muto sleeps is needed. So you seek the pure metal to forge the sacred sword and slay a great monster. Our King Muto did have the pure metal you seek, but a monster entered his temple, awakening him from his sleep. He is enraged. Can you enter his temple and slay the monster? Can you calm the king's great rage? Well then, show us how you can defeat the monster and soothe the angry king. Once the king has calmed down, I believe he will be willing to hear your story. To enter the great temple of King Muto, the sealed land must be resurrected. Meet the second knight, Doylin, who sleeps in the temple of the island's east. The temple is treacherous, but if you can overcome it, he will acknowledge you. I will open another path for you. Let it lead you. Look over there, Beast Cat! Nice! That's the path Braymore mentioned. Now we can get to the second night. Yes. See it, Sila. Yes. God, I love the spirit of power. Let's not do that. And up here. Fuck. Ow, ow. The temple is treacherous? You mean the path to the temple? My god. That's it. Don't jump over that 
Nightcap. Fuck off. Okay. Falls into the seat on its own. Works for me. You know what, fucker? Get over here. Fuck you. Dorlin's temple. Good more. Wow, fuck off. my comeuppance for being able to dodge all those boulders before. Ow! Fuck you! I am the second knight, Doylin. I am the protector of the key that keeps the land sealed. I'm impressed that you were able to clear the traps and monsters in this temple. I will not stop the one who is trying to take the king, return the king to sleep. Take this king's key. Got the king's key, woo. Take the key and return to the third knight, Bremore. Release the seal and restore our kingdom to its rightful shape. Sure. Enemies have respawned. Link ain't dealing with any of your shit. Water has receded from the island. The seal has been broken with the king's key. The land has been resurrected. Take the new path and read the first night, Max. Max, huh? We got like super ancient names, and then we just have Max. Amazing! Look, Beast Cat, the shape of the island is changing. Half the island that was underwater is now floating. The water was drained away. Let's get done. So again, there are all there are a whole bunch of secrets on this island that you can discover. No, I'm not. Not too interested. You know. Like spirits of power and yada yada yada. The green rupee. Yeah. Oh, 
love these fucking bowlers. Jumping, I'm gonna hit you eventually. Let's look ahead. You know, Link, you can't swim. We all know it. Stop trying. Curiosity is going to last me just enough to find out what's around this pyramid here. There's a button. And there's a shortcut. Max's temple. I am the first knight, Max, so a human can break the island seal. I can allow you to meet him if you aim to defeat the monster, as you say. However, you must first pass this trial that I'm about to present to you. So do you seek to face my trial? I see, then allow me to explain. To enter the king's temple, you must draw the secret crest on the corridor door. Discover the crest, and the great corridor will open for you. You must solve the riddle written on the tablet in the corridor. I will open the entrance to the corridor. Now be on your way. Tablets in the surface of the labyrinth. Crest will appear on the map of he who only knows, or of he who knows its secret solution. Surface labyrinth? You think that's like a maze? Oh. Uh, so you think like that on the island? Yep. But I want to try something. I had to make sure... Don't fucking buzz at me. Oh boy. 
nope, 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 nope. Three, travel northwest from me. Northwest. Five. Travel north from me. Path of the stars will reveal the crest. And then... It's just like, I am the beginning and I am the end. One. All begins and ends with me. So wait. Well, east of me. All begins and ends with me. One. East. Okay, one slash six. East. Fuck off. Find the tablets with the five stars as they hold. Uh, 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 uh. Four. Travel southwest from me. I need C chart. And just for shits and giggles. Five stars are aligned, the crest shall be revealed. Yeah. Two, travel south of me. And I will meet you back there. Oh, wait. Power jam. So. Be one, two, three, four, five, six. I drew the shape wrong. Fuck you, I did that the first time. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hold on.
And with that, we are in. Muto's Temple. Look at this place. I bet it's packed with traps. We're gonna be extra careful in here. I'm gonna go with a no shit on that one. Yep. Bombs by time. You choose the hidden path over the long road will cross in time. Motherfucker. And that will now stay permanently undone. bombs and that trap was worthless hmm I wouldn't happen to be able to just I gotta go around to the other side. There we go. Um, makes me wonder why it was giving me those bomb chews. What despicable... Oh, uh, no. What despicable enemy awaits me and it's just more skeletons. to look at this place.
Before I go up there, do anything there. Oh, okay. I see what I have to do. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Our final tool is going to be here. No, 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 no. We're just gonna get rid of all of this. Two swipes of the sword didn't do it. Fuck you. Dark pool, per pearl loop. If I need money, I'll be able to sell that. If something tells me I'm good. There's one of these things earlier. I wonder what it is. I think I saw one in the Temple of the Ocean King too. Looks like a switch, but it's rusted, and you probably will, it, prob it will probably will budge if you stand on it. Gee, I wonder what we need. I'm just being a sarcastic asshole. Don't worry about it. Well, we're trapped here, and the only way to get out would be to trigger that rusted switch. With a hammer! It's small, but packs a punch. Tap something and hit it. And Ciela is the one that actually winds up holding the hammer, which is freaking hilarious. Touch the footprint, slam the pillar. We saw these in the Temple of the Ocean King, too. Shelled guys, fuck them. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Going, going. There are no treasure chests on this floor. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Fuck you. Suddenly those rusted switches are like nothing. Unfortunately, you cannot hammer over walls. Unfortunately. However... Fuck off.
It's fine. It is totally fine. Come here. Come here. Fuck off. <laughs> you can also pound, pound, pound hearts. It's great. Small key. Get this treasure chest here, which contains a courage gem. Much like the mechanics of Wet Dry World in Mario 64, I am. Look at that! The spikes here won't hurt you either. Stop it! Path will open when the might when the mighty attacks change the color of the tiles. One shot, baby. Before I do that, okay, there's nothing in here. So, again, we're just dealing with the mechanics of, dry of wet dry world here. Excuse me, I'm just gonna farm for arrows here. Oh no, they don't they don't grow back. They do! They do grow back. Just need a few extra arrows. We can switch between the water level being high or none. And that'll help us get through King Muto's tomb. Really? Eventually something's gonna work. <laughs> I'll come back when I figure this out. There we go. Just had to do it until it worked. And there was probably a much easier way of doing this. But, be as it may. Down we go.
Oh, goody. Boing, boing. There are no treasure chests on this floor. Okay. Again, I don't know how I'm doing it. I'm just randomly hammering until something works. So, if you want like a guide or whatever, I this is not that place. Open the path, create the true form here. Create the true form here. What the fuck? Fuck, is that supposed to mean? Bringing out the old fucking boomerang thing again. Red and blue, when they are aligned in their true form, the path will open. What? So we need to make it like this. Red and blue, when they are aligned in their true form, the path will open. So, red, red, blue, 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 red, red, blue, red. not taking a picture of it right now. In the past, create the true form here. Okay. This... Excuse me? Or is it the other way around? I'm supposed to make... of the wrong thing. Took a picture of the wrong thing. This needs to be blue. Red, red. Red, 
and Oh! Oh my fucking god. If I want... Okay. Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. Red. It doesn't matter, because... Ah, fuck that whole thing up, stop that. That needs to be red. Then the red and blue here need to be switched. And I just need that. Swap that, swap that. Ha ha! Very nice. Very tricky. Very nice. <laughs> Bam! Just in case you fucked up, here's another one that just spawns out of thin air. Don't need to be here. Transport boulders, the game. Let me get myself up there. See what we're dealing with here? Just a straight shot over. And with all of that, the boss key! Fucker. Where's the where's the key gonna spawn? Okay, it's gonna be right here. <sighs> Trial and error process. And with 
with that. Make sure there's no hidden goodies around here. So, we're going to wrap it up here. In the next episode, we try to free King Mudo from the monster that woke him up. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.